Time to record. Scooby Doo Bop Bop Bop. Welcome to the Bundle Game. Hello. What up? That's our really cool intro. <laughs> I hope you liked it. It's all downhill mm-hmm. from here. Yes. Uh, I'm Nikolai. And I'm Ryan. Hello. This is the Brothers Game Podcast. Yes, it is. We're brothers and we talk about games. Mm-hmm. Duh. Yes. That's how it works. The shiny hunt continues. Uh, this is the one, guys. I'm just telling you. This hat it literally has to be. <laughs> 23515. I'm almost <laughs> two, three to one odds on shiny Kiram. Mm-hmm. For those who don't know, if this is your first episode for some reason, I'm shiny hunting Kiram, the legendary Pokemon, mm-hmm. in Pokemon White 2. Yep. Uh, on a legit copy that was over $100, yes. Yes. Um, <laughs> <laughs> because that's how it is. I'm currently on attempt 23,516. Mm-hmm. It is a hot one today. It is a hot one. We're recording it, is it on 106 degrees outside. 106 outside, which is normal for Texas, not normal for Oregon. <laughs> yeah. It's probably one of the hottest days of the whole year it'll be. So, yeah. yep. So, we are indoors recording a podcast mm-hmm. instead of, you know, going outside or something. Yeah. So, here we are. So, while you're playing White 2, uh, playing is a strong word. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I am mashing the A button, that's for yeah. sure. <laughs> But yes. So I played and beat Pokemon Platinum. Oh, yeah. You played Platinum. You mentioned that in the last episode, right? That you were going Uh, to maybe? I think, yeah. I think I've beaten it in the time since. Yeah. Okay. Nice. Let's talk about that. Yeah. So I have to say, I can't explain why, Mm -hmm. but Platinum is so much better than Diamond and Pearl. It's just, it's actually pleasant. It's just pleasant. I don't know why, though. I same. I don't know why it's better. Yeah, it just is. It just is. Yep. And there's but, something soulless about Diamond and Pearl to yeah. me. Yeah. And this didn't have and, that. And unfortunately, Brilliant Diamond Shining Pearl didn't it had that. didn't fix it. It was that. also soulless. <laughs> yeah. Exactly. So I'm glad you agree. I'm glad yeah. you didn't hate it. <laughs> like I was. I was very glad when I was playing Brilliant Diamond for the later gen. Uh, the little quality things. of life improvements, like but HMs and whatever. But still, it, it didn't really help much. But right, yeah, right. Platinum was enjoyable. Yeah, totally agree. Also, um, also it was enjoyable because you had Turtwig. Yes, Turtwig, <laughs> my man. Objectively best starter of Gen 4. I don't, my, care, my I don't man. care what the stats say. Yeah, he's adorable. Torterra is a beast. Yeah, well, and he's Grass busted. Ground is a really useful combo yeah, to have. Super useful. That re- type coverage, Yeah, those two types, oh my gosh. I remember when I first played Diamond that there were so many water ground types I kept encountering. Tons, yeah. It made me want a grass type, which, so... Yeah, Razor Leaf is busted yeah. in that, just because of how many water... So grass types were a staple of my team in the very, very beginning when I would uh, play mm-hmm. Red and Blue as a kid. Uh, it wasn't until a little later that I was like, yeah, who needs grass type? <laughs> and for a long time, I was like, grass types yeah. are lame, who cares? Oh, that's funny. Like... Because I, I was, I was like, it's one of those types that isn't really necessary in, in a lot of cases because their coverage can be covered by other types. True. Yeah. Sure. Um, like against wa- they're strong against water. You can, uh, electric is also strong against water, mm-hmm. and electric is strong against flying, which resists grass. Mm-hmm. And then grass is strong against rock ground. Water is also strong uh, strong against rock ground. And I always, always have a water and electric type on my team. Yeah. See, and so because of that, I've never had a need for grass types. See, generally. I always have water, but I don't always have electric. Yeah. So I think that's part of why. And that's, I don't think I've ever played a Pokemon game without an electric type on yeah, my team. Yeah, that's ever. funny. <laughs> I've played it quite a few times probably without an yeah. electric type. I feel like I'd really be missing an electric yeah. if I didn't have it. I do like to teach Thunderbolt to somebody, even yeah. if they're not electric, just that, for the, the type that's, coverage. That's one thing, is if you have a pseudo-electric type yeah. or a pseudo-water yeah. type. At even. least a move of some yeah. sort, yeah. Like, you could do a Wigglytuff playthrough with elect- mm-hmm. with Thunderbolt and Surf, and you'd do all right. <laughs> yeah. I, I've had a Lapras with with Thunderbolt before. Yeah. I've had, uh, I almost always, if I have a Miss Magius, yeah. she has really good special attack and can learn Thunderbolt, yeah. so I usually do that. Uh, obviously, Nitto King. <laughs> Huge one, absolutely. Is, uh, already strong enough to beat the game on his own, and then you can add Thunderbolt yeah. to that yeah. to give him even more coverage. Yep. I love when Pokemon can learn moves like Thunderbolt and Flamethrower, even mm-hmm. if they're not those types. 
Yeah. It just seems it just seems so fun. To when have I first such tight realized coverage. that Rhydon can learn Thunder and Surf, yeah, dude, it blew my mind. Rhydon with Surf is really good. Because I and the first time it happened, it, I was playing Pokemon Stadium. Oh, okay. And I got hit by a ride on with Surf. I'm you're like, like, you're kidding me. What? How? One of those things that blows your little kid mind. Yeah. Because I didn't have Bulbapedia. <laughs> <laughs> right, right. Serebi wasn't around back yeah, then. I had the player's guide, which was fairly thorough. It had a lot in it, but it didn't have everything. Nothing compared to, yeah, yeah. our resources now. Yeah. Um... So yeah, so platinum. <laughs> platinum has uh, elevated Sinnoh and Gen Four in my mind. Yeah, good. By I like a it. Decent amount. Which so unfortunately, th this may anger some people. Um, it has <laughs> made Gen Five <laughs> lower in my oh, mind because okay. especially Black Two, White Two. Yeah, it was for me the most boring Pokemon game I've ever played. <laughs> That is gonna make that would make people mad. <laughs> yeah, but it is. I don't. It's just. I uh, halfway through it, I was like, I really don't even want to finish this. I'm only finishing Dang. it because I feel obligated to. Yeah. Yeah. Now, for some reason, Pokemon Dang. Black was less that way for me than White Two. Oh, interesting. I feel like White Two is way better than Black and White. So I don't know. I don't know what's different that made it that way for me. Part of it for me is the same thing that Platinum had. It was just the vibe is better yeah, and stuff. But And I felt like I was actually more motivated to play it mm -hmm. uh, than I was yeah. to play regular now, white. But when I played Pokemon Black, it was right after I'd beaten Diamond. Mm -hmm. And it was it felt a lot better than Diamond. You're like, oh, thank God, yeah. something better, yeah. But that that said, even if, I remember I, I actually listened back to to the episode where I had played it. And yeah. I was like, oh, it was so forgettable. Yeah. It was the most forgettable. I will say I actually kind of agree, even though I enjoyed it more. Mm -hmm. I don't remember anything about it. Yeah. Like, I don't think I can name a single gym leader. No. Nope, yeah. I can't. No, this is the <laughs> Like, I recognize, I can yeah. think of their faces, but uh, I can't even I name I remember them. Skyla. Yeah, that's true. Skyla's in there. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Uh, there's, there's that Cl Clive something. No. The The... The, you know, cowboy guy. Yeah. I remember him. I don't mm. remember his name. <laughs> yeah. Cliff. I don't know. <laughs> he had an extra drill. I don't remember. Yeah. <laughs> See? Um, See? But yeah. So, yeah. And then... I, I think it's because we didn't <clears throat> grow up playing it. And people love it because they grew up playing it. Oh, yeah. It. Absolutely. I mean, that's just how it is. It's, I'm sorry. That's why I love Gen it's 1. It's all nostalgia. Because, like, yeah. <laughs> I, I understand that if, Gen One is full of so many flaws. Yeah. If I you still were love it. if you were twelve and you played Black Two, White Two fifteen times, you'd mm -hmm. be obsessed with it. Yeah, probably. You would, you would adore it, probably. Yeah. So it's just one of those things. Like, yeah, you're in also, your thirties, and I feel like part uh, maybe part of why I prefer I liked Platinum as much as I did is because it was my third time through Sinnoh. Through Sin, yeah, yeah. I think becoming more familiar with the region and stuff makes Pokemon yeah. better. I think maybe general. you need to play a Pokemon game like three times I think before that, you I can think objectively, that's true. If, w before you can really judge it. Yeah. Which is, uh, so like maybe I need to play black or white again. Maybe. One more yeah. time just to. Maybe like play black two now instead or something. Yeah, or something just, like that. Like after I'm done with this Kiram mm -hmm. and I transfer all these Pokemon to gen six, uh, cause I'm still working on that national Dex thing. Yeah. Um, I'm thinking about restarting this white two and doing it over mm -hmm. again and just, yeah, trying to become more familiar with it. But the thing is, like, I liked Pokemon X the first time I played it. Yeah, me or too. Pokemon I adored y, it. Actually. Yeah. Um, I liked Alpha Sapphire the yeah. first time I played it. I liked Pokemon Moon the first yeah. time I played it. Something about the modern ones are just more They're just memorable easier for me and to like. more enjoyable in general. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yes, I've stated many times I much prefer <laughs> modern Pokemon, that basically. Is, and I think, so, like... Pokemon, uh, uh, Pokemon Ruby, Sapphire, Emerald, Diamond, Pearl, Platinum haven't aged super well, and I don't okay. have the nostalgia yeah. to to like help them to help them out. Yeah. Whereas I do with uh, Red, Blue, Yellow, Gold, right. Silver, Crystal. So. Right, absolutely, and that's really what it comes down to with Pokemon. Yeah. It's yeah. And I feel like I almost feel like Johto doesn't even get a fair shake. Like it's a it's a cool region. Yeah, mostly but, people like 
people only talk about heart gold soul silver yeah. basically which i actually i need to replay that because yeah. i so i played diamond and then i played soul silver and i was like this feels enough like diamond that it makes me like this less than yeah. i think i would so i want to play it again with fresh eyes after and just after wa- playing platinum and be enjoying like, it this is gen 2 this is not yeah. diamond and pearl yeah <laughs> <laughs> yeah basically cuz that's still the consensus basically on the internet is that yeah. Those are like the best Pokemon games of all time, basically. I'm trying to think of when was the first game Which where just, move sets for Pokemon got good. Got good. <laughs> because they were so yeah. bad for so long. Yeah. Because I keep, I, I'll go to like, I'll play like Pokemon Diamond and be like, okay, surely by now the yeah. move sets were nope. good. No. Not great. They were not. They were fine, just not great. I think it's five or six for yeah. sure. I think XY was a real oh, just, was a real game well, changer for I mean, a lot of reasons. Again, I'm very biased. It's my favorite generation of Pokemon. Yeah. Period. So I agree, <laughs> obviously. And so now I'm playing through Ultra Moon. Yeah. And I have you to are. say I am really loving being back in Alola. Rules. Because I love the Alola region. That game rules so hard. Yeah. Yeah. And it's a it's, close second to my favorite as my favorite Pokemon game. Yeah. X X is my favorite, and yeah. then then Ultra Moon. It's so. the pinnacle of the DS era, too. Yeah, probably true. Basically, yeah, because it refined even a couple of things that X and Y added. Yeah. Like, I, I think I even saw like a lot of haters online say that it basically nailed the ex- exp share. Yeah, like, it's the best it's been done to date, basically. Yeah, and I think that's probably true. <laughs> very balanced while still being sort of difficult mm-hmm. which is really cool yeah uh it it was funny though it said something about z moves and i realized i had completely like, forgotten oh, those were a thing <laughs> yeah they're they're a bit forgettable yeah not the best part of the game yeah. luckily there's other things going on mm-hmm. yeah i it's i i think with like mega evolution at first people were like oh this is such a lame gimmick, gimmick and yeah. then several gens later they're like you know what mega evolution was just Bring fine you know yeah. <laughs> compared to all this other stuff yeah it's... I, I like it because one design cool mm-hmm. designs yeah you, for sure you get fresh new looks at you know at pokemon but i think the type and ability changes mm-hmm. actually like make it interesting yeah so I don't know. I'm I'm all for yeah, it. Yeah, I I would have been just fine if they didn't do any <laughs> other gimmick things and just, just kept Mega Evolution with that, yeah. as the thing. I personally um, terrestrializing is interesting. Yeah, it's one of the better. Ones. It's, it's better than you know Z moves and Dynamax for yeah. sure. Because especially like I think one of the best possible ones is an Ice type Pokemon that is terrestrialized to Water type. Yeah, so good. Yeah, and like. Certain ones like, uh, what is it? What is it? Something about ground and electric. <laughs> <laughs> Something like that. <laughs> An electric type turning in terrestrializing to a ground type mm. because it now has no weaknesses. Based. Like yeah. everything that would have gone against it, it, yeah. it doesn't now. Isn't it Stuff insane like that. that in 10 generations, electric still only has one weakness? <laughs> yeah, it's kind of insane. It's, I think, probably part of why I've always had an electric type. Yeah. Well, and the fact that anything can terrestrialize to steel and be, like, resistant to half the types, basically. Yeah. There's a lot of, like, good good uh, uses for it, so. Mm-hmm. So, Platinum gets a thumbs up from me. Yay! All of you can calm down now. Yeah. <laughs> that we hate. I know we hate on Sinnoh a lot, but, yeah, no. Platinum is pretty bomb. Especially when you... Uh, like hack in the event stuff and get the yeah. Rotom key and can actually, you know, make Rotom <laughs> be different forms. Then yeah. I really like it. <laughs> well, and also uh, uh, hack in all the legendaries. You, it won't yeah, let I did you that get. too. I got Arceus. <laughs> it was awesome. Oh, okay. So uh, let me talk about my actual playthrough. <laughs> oh, that's a good idea. And not just my opinion of the game as, o- overall. That's um, a, what a concept. Yeah. So, uh, yeah, I don't even know your final team and stuff. So, yeah. So, Nothing was really all that difficult. Um, it's not a particularly champ- yeah. difficult game. Did you like the partner like things, where you like mm. where you're like going through the forest with Cheryl, and like 
Oh, I mean, you go through, you know, that wasn't new to me because I had that in other games. So uh, I I feel like I'd be just fine on my own. (laughs) Well, well, yeah, I don't really need the help. So I think it adds, I don't know, intrigue. It makes it less samey. Yeah. You know, I feel like routes can feel like they're all exactly the same sometimes. Yeah. So, so I'll know. talk I about like my that. team. I got I started Tur- Turtwig. Heck yeah. Um my boy. I had a bird of some type. Ooh, no way. <laughs> Staravia? Yeah, must yeah. have been. Yeah, because I, mean, I had Starly and That's you know, the Star- one, basically. Yeah, Staravia and um Staraptor. Lux Ray, you know. <laughs> the, the Sinnoh team. The Sinnoh team. I like um, I refuse to use the, like the Sinnoh Pokemon. Yeah. So like Star Raptor. Luxray and Floatzel. Yeah. Never I used not them use Floatzel, ever. I knew my water type was Golduck. Oh yeah. Yeah, you actually I remember you mentioning that. Yeah. He was he was all right. He's not bad. Not bad. Um so Very those nice. four, those were the core team. I didn't really no one else on the team was really high enough level to be useful. Okay. Uh I had Bidoof as my HM slave for and sure. then also I had Zubat for Defog. Oh, nice. Because I was struggling to find a Pokemon that could learn it, and yeah. I didn't want to give it to any of my good Pokemon. Well, and he's actually a decent Pokemon in that game, if you yeah. get him to Crobat. I mean, he's, he's pretty he was solid. level five when I beat the game. So. Well, yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Uh, I did catch Jirotna with one Ultra Ball. Heck yeah. That's so, awesome. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Did you like that that little alternate yeah, evil that dimension thing? It's a nice little... Kind of cool. Again, something new that's nice, so... Yeah. Little puzzly area. Yeah. So uh, Cynthia remains very hard. Um, yeah. Good. Honestly, the rest of the elite four, not really a big deal. But then yeah. Cynthia just wiped the and floor with me Cynthia. like almost ten times, eight or nine times. Yeah. Dang. Yeah. That's awesome. That's that's a lot of times. Yeah. Okay. Um. Yeah. And so I remember reading about how tanky uh, Jaratna is. Oh, and yeah. so I, ha- I had him on my team just to act as a damage sponge yeah. <laughs> for healing my other Pokemon. <laughs> nice. And it worked okay. Nice. So you actually had to do that, though, to beat her. That's, yeah. that's cool. That's cool. Uh, so I just t- I had to level against the Elite Four until my team sure. was actually high enough level and sure. then I could beat her. They, they got... I had like three Pokemon in uh, at like level 60, 61 before okay. I beat her. Okay. Yeah, no, that sounds about right. Um, <clears throat> my brain exploded just. <laughs> was it uh, her ace, like the guard chomp, that was really the, the issue? or He was a problem yeah. for sure. Um, he's tough. But, uh, He's thick. yeah, she has a she has Gastrodon. Um, oh, yeah, Gastrodon was uh, was the easiest one on her team. Well, uh, yeah, because Torterra. My Lodic is yeah. pretty tanky, tanky, so yeah. And the problem is, she often killed <laughs> enough of my Pokemon that by the time my Lodic came out, it was like, uh oh, yeah, cleaning up what was left yeah. over. The final sweeper, yeah. Nice. But yeah, Garchomp was definitely a problem. Um, uh, she has an Alakazam, right? Or uh, I don't remember honestly. I think so. Or she has some strong. I don't psychic think so. Type. I don't remember her having an Alakazam. She has some strong. Psychic it sounds type, like Sabrina. No, that's not <laughs> who I'm thinking of. Also, Sabrina's Alakazam is a freaking pushover. <laughs> yeah. Because it uses freaking Psy Wave, which is terrible. <sighs> Yeah. I remember the first time I used that, I was like, oh, this, this move sucks. <laughs> this move sucks. Why, would Why you was this, a, this? Tr- a, a, a TM I got from a gym leader? Nice. That's it's, cool. so, it's so funny. Well, like, that's cool. Surge gives you Thunderbolt. A 90 pa- <laughs> so power. So busted. Uh, 95, I think, accuracy. Um, or 100 accuracy, I forget. Uh, move. It's, 100, it's 100 accuracy. Yeah, 100 accuracy It's 100 percent. And you get it from the third gym. It's almost like Gen One is sort of unbalanced. That's, yeah, that's a little bit. That's interesting. So like that's news. Squirtle had the perfect. Here balance. we go. Sorry, but he does. No, 
get, have have a 20 power special move, a 40 power special move, and then a 60 power special move. Mm-hmm. And then later in the game, you get your 80 or 90 power special move. So yeah, now it's like in modern Pokemon, it's like, mm-hmm. no, you get the 80 power move at like level 12. Yeah. <laughs> Here you go. <laughs> Here you go, kid. But it, but it is funny though, like how you'd get, so you get dig and thunderbolt like right after each other. Yep. And as they soon become as you beat Misty. your only good moves. And basically. because, yeah, every other move you can get at up to that point. Oh, also a mega punch. Oh, sure. Uh, you can get it in Mount Moon. Yeah. Of all places. Because it's got like 90 power or something. Mm-hmm. You get uh, those three moves, and then every other move is, by comparison, garbage. Worthless, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, but yeah, imagine if, um, if like Bulbasaur had learned Absorb, and then Mega Drain, and then Razor Leaf, and then... Right. And like spaced them out really well. Yeah. But no. But no. <laughs> We refuse. And then come up with a fire type move that is in between Ember and Flamethrower to give Charmeleon at like level 20. (laughs) Yeah. Which I mean is what they tried to do with Flame Wheel, I think. Yeah, except it's barely any stronger than Ember. Yeah. Make it like 60. Yeah. Yeah. Ah, classic. Mm -hmm. So, those are my thoughts. So, that's Platinum. Platinum. You had a very exciting team. <laughs> yep. Yes, I had the classic Sinnoh team plus Golduck. Not, <laughs> I'm not surprised. Yep. Yeah. Um, well, if we want to continue with Pokemon, there was some news. So mm-hmm. I am aware, actually. There this was a time. Pokemon Presents. But and go every, ahead. So everyone was thrilled, obviously, because mm-hmm. it's a Pokemon Presents. Yes. And even though John from Serebii warned everyone on Twitter, or X, whatever you want to call it, um, <laughs> he's like, the the DLC hasn't come out yet. They will not reveal a new game of any kind. No <laughs> new spinoffs. They never do at this point in time. And everyone was still very disappointed that they didn't show a new game <laughs> because that's just how it is. Yes. Uh, almost nothing new was shown at this presents, mm-hmm. which was interesting. But they did uh, reveal two new Pokemon. Mm-hmm. We got some new evolutions. Yeah. Um, Daruladon got an evolution, <laughs> which is weird. Yeah. Like a really strong dragon type yeah. got an evolution. Mm-hmm. So that's kind yeah, of it's insane. A staple remover. And it's a staple remover slash bridge yeah. also. Because <laughs> he was already a, sk- a skyscraper. So now he has to be a bridge. And then, all, but yeah, from the back, he looks like a staple remover. Yeah, it's a it's a design choice, that's for sure. Mm-hmm. And then we got Diplin. Yes. Uh, the candied apple version of... Uh, or pr- pr- Driplin. Driplin, yeah. <laughs> he's, he's got that drip, I guess. Yeah. Yes, the rizziest Pokemon mm-hmm. uh, so far. So that's, that's exciting. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Yippee. Um, that's literally all we have to talk about <laughs> from well, Pokemon and then, Presents. And then the Paradox so uh, now, Raikou. Oh, that's true. Yeah, Paradox Raikou. That's right. It looks like a giraffe. Uh, it looks like a giraffe, you know, dinosaur thing. Yeah. Uh, he is an electric dragon, so mm-hmm. that's cool. Good type. Good typing. Uh, they also showed Cobalion. Right. Yeah. His future form. And he's going to be Steel Psychic, mm-hmm. like Metagross, which is a great type combo. So pretty cool. Pretty cool. Um, they did actually just re- show some new footage to... Um, because Pokemon Worlds just happened. Mm. The World Championships yeah. for Pokemon. Oh, man. Which a lot of stuff happened, which I actually yeah. do want to talk about. Uh, um, but there they showed uh, this really cute video. Uh, if you're listening and haven't seen it, you should go watch it um, because it was adorable. It basically showed all the starter or first partner Pokemon. They're not called mm-hmm. starters anymore. Um, in Scarlet Violet. Mm-hmm. Basically, they revealed that in part two, not part one, but part two of the DLC, there there will be all the starters. Oh, yeah. Wild starters. Wild in yeah. the wild. Yeah. And you can transfer them up uh, as well from, from Pokemon Home. So that's cool. Mm-hmm. Very cute. There was some very cute footage of them. I think they added 
they're really they're really pushing the fact that it's like them in their natural habitat basically mm-hmm. quote unquote so i think they've they're going to be adding a lot of like personality and animations to them and stuff oh cool so that'll be kind of fun uh, to see hopefully uh and i have a th- i have a theory about the dlc okay and that it's They've put about as much work into this DLC as they did all of Scarlet and Violet. Yeah, <laughs> and um, it's been it's taken a while. Like they yeah announced it like a year ago, mm-hmm. and part one is finally coming out next month. Um, but I'm really hoping it's more polished, and I yeah. think it will be. I have high hopes for it. I think it won't be nearly as janky uh, as the initial release of Scarlet and Violet was. Um, I always thought people were way too hard on the game a little bit Mm -hmm. i did play it yesterday a little bit Mm -hmm. for the first time since playing like cheers the kingdom and stuff yeah (laughs) (laughs) i will say it felt like trash (laughs) it felt horrible to play but i didn't hate it either you know i'm Mm -hmm. not like it's it's not that bad but like i was a little surprised that it was as bad as it was yeah just janky, you know, just a little, a little too janky. Um, they've, they did make a state, an official statement too. And they said that they're having a lot of talks, quote unquote, about <laughs> how to, um, make a more presentable product basically yeah. while still keeping their release windows, but which is probably impossible, yeah. <laughs> but well, but who knows? You know? I, I know knows? it'll make a ton of fans angry, but they should have just a longer release yeah. cycle. So that's, that they I can mean, that's, actually have time to make the games good. Basically, somebody said, like, you're telling me that what worked for the Game Boy doesn't work anymore for modern games? Yeah. Shocking. Like, uh, I mean, yeah, it's true. They should probably just take longer. Yeah. But um, we'll see. We'll see what they do. Yeah. Well, it's not like they haven't ta- it taken longer periods uh historically yeah yeah like it's not like every generation has been every year every single yeah i know because there's only been 10 generations and the game's like almost 30 years old right right so um some people said too that it's they've really just now came off of the the covid stuff basically (laughs) like so i mean yeah that is true they were probably understaffed comparatively and you know stuff like that Mm mm-hmm we give we give them grace. We're pretty chill about it, but sure. uh, but yeah, it was worth mentioning. So we'll see. Everyone's hoping for Legends Unova, basically. Oh, yeah. Is the hope I think uh, for people right now? I do hope there's another Legends game of some. I sort. I hope they do Legends of some sort. Yeah, yeah. I think that'd be really cool. Um, oh, that's arguably the best game they've ever made ever. yeah pretty much <laughs> and i think johto or unova would be great options yeah. so um i wanted to mention too you can get a mythical mew right now yes i did, did you get, see that did you get your mew no i, I haven't okay. actually touched the game so it's worth it while, but... um so you can get a legit mew right now you just have to go uh put in the code get your mew right with uh, a with zero, a zero. <laughs> And it has a random terror type. Um, mm. The one I got was Fairy, which is a really oh, good. Oh wow! Which is really good. Yeah, so, yeah. I was I was happy with that. It's funny. It comes with Dazzling Gleam, I think. So I'm mm. like, perfect. <laughs> All right. Yeah, there you go. It does come level five, which is unfortunate. Oh. I, wish, I wish they just gave us a level 100 one, but yeah. whatever. <laughs> <laughs> whatever. It's fine. It's fine. So 100 yeah. 100 with perfect IVs and max EVs. Well, no, we don't do that. Yeah. Speaking of training Pokemon, mm-hmm. I've always believed that hunting for the Pokemon, catching the Pokemon, training it up, getting it the perfect moves, you know, working on its EVs to get it to a place where it is competitive is the point of Pokemon. This this game is not Pokemon Showdown. Uh-huh. This is a game that's about catching the Pokemon and training them up. It's not just a mm-hmm. battle simulator which is apparently what competitors think it is. Yeah. <laughs> because there are there were many many competitors who spent thousands of dollars flying to Japan, but they brought with them generated fake mm-hmm. illegal Pokémon. Yep. Which I did not know was so ubiquitous, uh-huh. was so common 
but there was a lot of disqualifications uh -huh. <laughs> at Pokemon Worlds for this very thing. I was very proud of people like Wolfie mm -hmm. uh, for not doing that. Yeah. I like the community would have been heartbroken if yeah. like Wolfie was was uh like you know disqualified or something yeah. like that. Uh so thankfully nothing like that happened. I'm not I don't personally know of any of the creators or competitors that that did get disqualified. Mm -hmm. I just saw a lot of tweets about it. No. Yeah. And it kind of blew my mind that some of them were very defensive. Yeah. And I'm like you you cheated. <laughs> yeah. Like you're literally cheating. <laughs> like to me that's so obvious, yeah. but I I also kind of get it. But why would you risk it? Like I have it so I have I don't but, know if this is going to be an interesting take know. or a hot take or whatever. It might be. It might be. We might disagree. It's okay. I I think for competitive Pokémon I don't really see why you would need to catch and train your own like forget about rental, what the actual like rules Pokemon, are for a second and yeah. just pretend you're going to from scratch create po competitive pokemon and yeah. it didn't exist before yeah and you're like okay we're gonna make competitive pokemon i my default wouldn't assumption wouldn't be oh and they have to train all their pokemon and they have to get the evs and ivs themselves mm -hmm. that's i wouldn't think that honestly naturally i'd be yeah. like it's a I tournament. It's that. competitive. It's about it's skill. About the battle. It's, it's not about who had more time to train up to yeah. level up their Pokemon. But the thing is, the precedent was already set. There are already rules in place. Mm -hmm. This has been a thing for a while. The expectation is you don't cheat, and they cheated. Yeah. So it was blatant. No matter against what the rules. you think about yeah. it morally, yeah. you're still you still cheated. You just and you so did break the you rules. You deserve to be disqualified. Yeah. yeah. That's the rules. Yeah, it's interesting <laughs> because I get that, and that's why Pokemon Showdown exists. Right. Because people don't want to do that, uh -huh. <laughs> which is understandable. I don't want to do that. Right, exactly. <laughs> but I'm also, you're also more on the side of, of um, like, ROMs and stuff. Yeah. Which I'll do. I'm not, like, against ROMs and stuff. Mm -hmm. But I'd much rather have the legit copy. And what, like, you I'm know what's funny is... Like, I'm playing a legit white 2 right now. That's... Yet another barrier to competitive Pokemon that I never huge, even considered huge. for myself. Like, oh, if I was even you would interested need the game. <laughs> yeah. in competitive Pokemon, I'd have to find a working copy. Yep. yep. I, and and I'd have to spend all that time doing that, let alone learning competitive Pokemon, yep. learning the strategy exactly. and getting exactly. good at the strategy. It's like, no, thank you. I'm not going to put that much effort and money into that. Exactly. So the big, the one Pokemon that really made an it was the issue was urshifu mm. from the uh isle of armor uh -huh. dlc in sword and shield yeah he is a huge part of the meta right now and so to be in the current meta you can't just have scarlet and violet the mm -hmm. most modern games the yeah. one you're playing in and that's people's what people are mad about basically yeah is that you have to go back to back a generation get the game and the dlc if you don't have it mm -hmm. to get that pokemon yeah but again, that's not their fault. Like, yeah. that's just like it's not their fault that Urshifu's in the meta right now. Yeah, like if you want Urshifu, you gotta get him. Like, mm -hmm. and that's just part of the game. But I get that that's yeah, that's a lot for some people. But yeah, and I mean, to me like, that makes perfect sense. I'm like, well, that's that's how Pokemon works. So. Yeah, and like, <laughs> so if pe if people were comparing this to like making your own chess pieces and it's like okay that's, a, <laughs> that's that is a really dumb thing, thing so you bring your game yeah to what, the to yeah, the competition what, what i would compare it to is like like say you're going to a magic the gathering tournament which by the way i don't know anything about magic right. the gathering we i just know we're it's not magic people game. yeah and uh because you can't afford the decks that are part of the meta you just you print, have, you, you just print cards yeah, yeah you print cards and Guess like, what? You can't play in the tournament. <laughs> it's, it's like, <laughs> sorry. <laughs> should it be wrong? Whether that should be wrong in the first place may be up for debate. Yeah. But the fact that it is against the rules, it means you're going to be disqualified. Yeah. Rules Period. of the tournament state That's you must play with legitimate cards. It's like the end. You can argue that the rule is stupid, and that's a sure. fine argument to sure. make, for but sure. you can't just use 
your belief that the rule is stupid to yeah. then justify what you did. And then <laughs> spend five grand plus to ta travel to Japan uh -huh. and enter the tournament knowing you have cheated Pokemon. Yeah. I'm like, that's a ballsy move, bro. Uh -huh. <laughs> like, so they've, in the past, there's been more, you know, fake, but fake Amon or whatever you want to call yeah. them. <laughs> fake um, uh and their their measures to test to see if Pokemon were fake were not as good yeah. as they are now. Mm -hmm. And people didn't realize that they upped their game mm -hmm. and they upped it a lot. Like yeah. they're very good at detecting fake Pokemon now. And so yeah, a lot of those people just thought they could slip under the radar basically. Mm -hmm. Um yeah, that's that's nuts. I did not know such a controversy would come out of yeah. <laughs> of Worlds this year. <laughs> um, yeah. I mean, it's... I absolutely... I don't... I'm not mad at those people, though. And I don't... I'm not, like, against them. And I feel terrible for them. Mm. And a lot of them were like, I messed up. I should not have done that, basically. Which is good. I think yeah. that's a good attitude to have. I feel bad that they spent... They wasted so much money. Mm. That's what I feel bad It's a about. hard lesson. What a waste of money. It's a lesson money. hard learned. Yeah. But, because yeah. they also wasted money buying the fake Pokemon. Yeah. <laughs> they paid for them. Which... I wouldn't do that either, though. I know. You have to pay... Like, <laughs> Why would I pay for fake Pokemon? Go buy Sword. Yeah. <laughs> go buy Pokemon Sword. You can get it used for $25. Yeah. Well, yeah. And, uh, yeah. Like, you don't... And that's the thing. Like, you didn't have to buy a $200 Pokemon White 2 then I'd understand it a little more. Mm -hmm. But, you know, Pokemon Sword is 25 bucks used. Yeah. So get over it and mm -hmm. just go get it, <laughs> basically. Yeah. It's mm -hmm. even on the same console. Like, yeah. you can make it happen. So it's one thing if, like... You remember catching Milotic in Gen 3? Oh, a nightmare. Imagine if Milotic in Gen 3 was part of the meta. And it was a the huge only part of that. way to like, get you Milotic, had to have a Milotic, period. It was a given that you'd have a Milotic on yeah. your team. Like I, That would suck. Yeah. yeah. Absolutely true. Urshifu, Urshifu is a is an instant get. You can get you get it no matter yeah. what. So Yeah. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm not on your side. Yeah. yeah. But again, I like the thematics personally of mm -hmm. I'm the trainer. This is a game where I care about these Pokemon I'm catching and training up. And a lot of people don't feel that way. No. To a lot of people, it is Pokemon Showdown. No. They only care about the like, the formulas and the mathematics of how to win yeah. a Pokemon <laughs> battle. It is a battle simulator, and that's it to them. Yeah. And that is totally understandable. And that's probably why they're good at competitive, is because yeah. they think of it that way. But uh, yeah, that's certainly a thing. Mm -hmm. So there it is, the official same it from Brothers Game. Probably don't cheat. <laughs> probably a bad idea to cheat <laughs> don't break the rules in an official tournament yeah good idea yeah, yeah. you will get disqualified <laughs> unsurprisingly it <laughs> might waste a lot of money <laughs> yeah i was i was sad uh at wolfie's loss he lost in i forget which round it was he didn't even make it to the final round oh wow which is a shame um but he fought hard he did yeah. he did well meta's really weird right now though yeah so yeah yep interesting i have yet to get the shiny by the way mm -hmm. <laughs> checking in i'm at twenty three thousand five hundred and seventy two attempts attempts mm -hmm. uh, nope okay we continue <laughs> so i wanted to talk about a, a question you asked in the very first episode of the podcast oh, whoa this as is, a joke this is nostalgic it was <laughs> what is a video game oh <gasps> What is a video game? But I was kind of thinking about it. Like, okay, so I have an idea in my head of what I think about when I think about video games and when I think about who a gamer is. And, like, and it's pretty much just console games, it turns out. But uh, obviously yeah. a PC gamer is still a gamer. But, like, It is okay, a video game, yeah. There is an obvious difference between Tears of the Kingdom and Bejeweled massive an yeah. obvious difference what's the difference between bejeweled and tetris tetris is absolutely 100 percent a video game yeah it perfectly bridges the gap between uh -huh. bejeweled and tears of the king <laughs> right <laughs> you're like well, i guess it is a video game <laughs> think about tetris dr mario galaga 
the classes Games that started yeah, as yeah, yeah. arcade machines that are very simple have yeah. not a lot going on yeah but guess what donkey kong same Pac-Man, thing man donkey kong that's mario <laughs> those that's are a video game <laughs> I'd like what's the difference between those and candy crush right um chuzzle uh yeah i'm trying to think i don't play a lot of mobile app games so i'm trying to think of these ones marge's mansion <laughs> yeah um just like what's uh, Ebony the king's return and so it's like you can't really say that somebody who plays app games on their phone isn't a gamer because right. that would be like saying somebody in the 80s playing tetris on an arcade machine right. isn't a not gamer. a gamer and they would you punch you in really, the face yeah. if you told them they were can't really gamer. say that <laughs> Yeah, I mean, it hurts to say that mobile game puzzle players are gamers, but, I mean, they probably play games more than I do. Yeah, so. right? <laughs> exactly. So. But it's it's weird because. They're, they're as cringe as COD players, though. Yeah. So, you know. But it's like, because, it, again, there is an obvious difference. Oh, yeah. Tears of the Kingdom that is, and, Tet- and Tetris are obviously two very different things. Mm, extreme. But they're absolutely both video yeah. games. It, it is an extremely broad term yeah video game mm-hmm. like because then you get into well video is it a video format of some sort and is it game related is yeah. it game ish and i'm like if it's an electronic game it's a video yeah. game like it's like it's like i i sometimes this is a question that i don't have an answer to is are visual novels games yeah. Because sometimes, because a lot of the times it's literally, you're just sitting a picking, net for next, yeah. basically. Yeah, or picking between two or three options. Yeah, well, and uh, but sometimes they don't really have that are, any, like, impact on the game. Yeah. Sometimes, so. And so, like, anytime I've said, oh, I played a visual novel, I always feel kind of weird even yeah. saying play. Well, like, did like, I play? I read like, it. It's like when you listen <laughs> to an audiobook. You want to say you read the book, but right. you didn't but you actually, didn't read, actually the read the book. It's the same thing. You it's just like heard it. <laughs> it's bookish. Yeah, like how visual novels are kind of video games. <laughs> yeah, it's it's. I feel like it's sort of the same thing. And like I'm, I, I don't know enough about visual novels, but I'm gonna guess there are some that are more involved than others. Oh, absolutely, and some are that are a lot more passive, like. Persona 4 is a very involved visual novel. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah, I, I would argue that that is yeah. a oh, visual yeah, novel absolutely. and a video game put together. <laughs> yeah. Because the dungeon crawling is a video game and the social links are a visual novel. Very and much they just so. combined yeah. them into one They're game. Like, what if same game? <laughs> yeah. 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 I mean, it's a, it's a philosophical question, yeah. isn't it? <laughs> uh Persona 4 did make me want them to just have a Persona visual novel. Yeah. Where I could skip the RPG part. <laughs> well, that's why the anime exists. Yeah. Because and the anime tells the story quite well. So, yeah. uh, My 3DS is currently blinking red. Uh, so, oh, no. So I don't know if I'll be able to do this the whole episode. <laughs> I, too, like to live dangerously. Yeah, well, I'm kind of a bad boy. <laughs> so what can I say? Yeah. What can I say? Oh. Mm. I haven't said it on the podcast. I'd like to make an announcement. Oh, yes. Um, if if you're just a fan and don't really know me personally, you're the last to know. Um, little brother over here is now daddy. Okay. Mm-hmm. Daddy got big because daddy became a daddy. Yeah. Uh, or my wife. Daddy to be, I guess. Daddy ish. Yeah. Baby uh, on the way. Baby on the way. My mm-hmm. wife is pregnant uh, with our first child. So, yay. Woo. Woo. Yay, me. Nope. So, we wanted to have one soon and it happened so right. here we see, are we're doing it we have so few listeners that we decided to make some more i have to make my own <laughs> you know i gotta i gotta grow the audience somehow yeah so the second she her ears are developed enough mm-hmm. i gotta put headphones on her belly you know and just yeah yeah just play headphones the, on the belly and yeah. play the episodes <laughs> she'll know my to, voice immediately yeah. so there you go <laughs> pretty cool stuff pretty cool we're pretty certain it's a girl we're hoping so but we'll see We'll find out in a few weeks, probably the actual yeah. gender. She's f- almost fifteen weeks, yeah. right now. So, awesome. yep, it's been awesome. We're sort of preparing the house now. Yeah. So, so yeah, that's that's what I've been up to. <laughs> <laughs> and I and I'm like, I'm almost 
more fiercely going for the shiny now because I'm like, I cannot be doing this when I'm taking care of a baby. <laughs> this needs to be over by then. Yep. So I got a few months. So <laughs> we'll, we'll see. Man, I hope so. Yeah. Oh, uh, goodness. Goodness, goodness uh, gracious. I watched some VTubers playing Pokemon Unite and went, oh, right, that's a thing. Yeah. I man. forgot that exists. I think that's my least favorite genre of video games. MOBAs is MOBAs. Yeah. I cuz I've played I haven't played Pokemon Unite, mm-hmm. but I've played League and I've played Smite. Yeah. And I just think I hate MOBAs. I think yeah. I think it's just not for me. It's not so the actual game I really don't mind. The problem I have is the the community. Community. Yeah, but I just don't like the Knowing build, trying to learn builds. There are two things I dislike about it the community and the time commitment for each game. The games take too long. Yeah. And it's, and it's like, there's almost like a buy in, like with Magic the Gathering, but instead of money, it's your time. Yeah. Because it takes so much time to actually get good at it. Yeah. That I'm like, well, I don't care. That that I don't mind either is the time to get good at it. It's literally the time a single game takes because. Once you start you're a game, you yeah. are committed to however long it takes. So I and think the time can vary a lot. I think that's why some people like Pokemon Unite because I think it is much shorter games. Mm. But um, yeah, because and that was that was a tough thing for online gaming, online competitive in multiplayer in general. Yeah, especially when you're a teenager. Oh yeah, because you are at the mercy of, of your, your family and their schedule and like. Your mom could say, it's such oh, a it's, classic. it's time to leave. It's like, oh, but I'm in the middle of a 45 yeah. minute. Hey, can you pause your game? Mom, it's online. I yeah, can't, I can't pause, pause it. it. Just like. It's a classic. Just like with Fantasy Star Online. Yeah. Uh, even if you play in offline you mode, you cannot pause actually it. pause the game. It's so stupid. <laughs> oh, that's the worst. That's messed up. Yeah. I do. I do remember. I, I got that pause it and <laughs> had to say you. I, I can't pause I this game. Really can't pause I literally game. can't. There is no pause. And if I stop right now, that's hours of progress down the drain. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, Messed up. Yeah. There were there were moments I enjoyed League, and a lot of times I didn't. Um, I, I remember playing... So I played Warcraft 3 online, which, is, which invented the MOBA genre. Right. Along with many other games it's it's mm-hmm. kind of insane that warcraft 3 custom games became Invented their video own games. game genres yeah isn't it what like didn't it invent it had something to do with roguelikes right oh i i don't know about that but or it did, tower defense games it did maybe? invent tower okay. defense maybe that's what um, i was thinking yeah. of that's why mobas of. tower defense and other similar genres yeah. of game it yeah. yeah all came from warcraft 3 nice that's pretty cool that's... And like obviously Warcraft 3 came from other games but those specific game types and mechanics all came from Warcraft yeah. specifically. That's one genre I haven't touched is the roguelike genre. Yeah. Uh from my understanding it's like every time there's like either a time limit or you, once you get to a certain part of the game or something like that you basically revert back to the beginning. Yeah. But you can do stuff better so you grow faster basically it's something like you know that. i've watched an entire video explaining what a roguelike is yeah. and i don't really remember very well yeah. so well it's something like that but yeah you build up and then you have to go back to the beginning but because of certain things you can build up faster yeah and you get farther get new equipment and stuff like that mm. um the biggest the one of the most popular is hades which yeah. i'm sure you've heard of um and so that's one of the better ones that's so might be the one i try but yeah i don't know eventually i'd like to try one yeah it's kind of like how they're really popular they're really popular now mm-hmm. um it's like how platformers became those kind of died off and now every platformer is a metroidvania instead yeah. uh, like i don't know that just became yeah. the thing or it's a um or, or like a stupid platformer. Uh, yeah, a stupid ultra yeah, punishing yeah. only go up. It's junk. Including the game Only Up. Only Up, yeah. Which actually looks like, really yeah. fun. Yeah. I like how silly that one looks. Yeah. It's very silly. Yeah. So that's like, I feel like it's a little less infuriating because it's so stupid. Like, yeah. yeah. Which I like. <laughs> I yeah. Someone was playing and there's an elevator. 
<laughs> yeah. When you walk into it, the floor go- opens <laughs> and you fall that all rule. the way to the ground. That rules. <laughs> and this person's just like stone faced. And- <laughs> like that's that's just trolling. That's fine. Yeah. Like that's like I, like I cannot pro- process the <laughs> anger and disappointment I am yeah. feeling right now. Yeah, that's great. Yeah, I feel like that's all platformers now is either that yeah. or a Metroidvania. Metroidvania. Yeah, like yeah. Hollow Knight and yeah. Hollow Knight. Um, uh, Ori and the Will of the Wisps yeah. is a uh, big Shovel one. Knight. Shovel Knight, yeah. Okay. Shovel Knight's more of a classic platformer, actually. Yeah. But yeah, it is a little different. Yeah, but yeah, but yeah, it's that's a whole thing. That's why they need to make a new Donkey Kong game. <laughs> okay, we need a new good platformer. Okay, no. Tropical Freeze is very old. Yeah, <laughs> it's amazing. Mm. But man, it's old. No. Yeah, come on, come on, Nintendo, give us Donkey Kong. <laughs> oh, I guess we got Super Mario Bros. Wonder, though. That's coming. Mm. That's going to be a good platformer. Yeah. I, I'm looking forward to that. Uh, yeah. Ah, oh, Nintendo, you done it again. You done it again. <laughs> uh, did you watch Donkey's pizza video? No. His new pizza video? No, I have not. He reviewed uh, pizzas from the best pizza in every state. I saw that in my recommendation. It was very stupid. Yeah. Uh-huh. <laughs> I'm sure. I'm sure. I saw that. I'm like, oh, this is going to be fun. Yeah. <laughs> this is going to be dumb. <laughs> Some of his best content is ones that has nothing to do with video games uh, at all. <laughs> hey, guys, today we're talking about pizza. Yeah. Yes. Well, as gamers, yep. we are very familiar with pizza. <laughs> yeah, I'm a big gamer. I'm a huge gamer. <laughs> Brian, what is what is three to one odds? Do you remember? <laughs> it's 24 Hold something. On. I have a calculator. <sighs> Let me pull it's, it up. It's painful. It is. It's really painful. I, look, I looked up. I needed. I needed. I needed inspiration and encouragement. <laughs> so I looked up other like you know shiny hunts yeah. of full odds. It would uh, be what's the number? Twenty four five seventy six. Five seventy six. So I'm just under a thousand away right now from three to one odds. Yeah. It's. I've found a trend. In that, a lot of um, uh, base odds, full odds, mm-hmm. whatever they call it, full odds hunts like this go to about twenty four thousand. Like, oh yeah, that's and like twenty six thousand is as, as bad as far as they go typically, mm-hmm. and that is good news for me. <laughs> yeah, because you're not that far. I'm from not that. that far from that. <laughs> Again, this is just like. By f- first of all, it's by far the the longest shiny hunt I've ever done. Mm-hmm. Um, but it's also like, it's like the game is getting back at me. It's like Pokemon is saying "ha ha" because the Ho Oh shiny mm-hmm. hunt I did same exact same odds. Yeah, was like twenty two hundred. Yeah, like this is like ten times longer than that was. Yeah, <laughs> at the same odds, and that's just that's just great. That's just wonderful, isn't it? Yeah. It's like uh, how our friend Kyle got at 13 Orphans so many times. It's like, okay, well, you used up all the luck in your life. Yep. <laughs> Sorry, bud. Your luck's run out. Yeah, it's it's one of those things. Yeah. Uh, I think we've talked about Mahjong before, but Mahjong, the tile game, not the tile matching game, yeah. which is a totally different thing. The actual that game. just uses the same tiles, but the actual game, which is a lot like Jin Remy. Um, Very popular in China and Japan. Yeah, there's a hand, which is just all of the like special tiles yeah all the ones and Terminals nines and, and the uh honor tiles which are the dragons and the winds uh you gotta have one of it's each one which of is each. a very odd hand because that if you don't get it if you're even one tile short short it you can't it's use literally nothing it's worthless other, nothing else yeah <laughs> you can't make anything out of it yeah yeah it's one of those games where you need a very specific like sets of things yeah uh, to get like a winning hand so mm-hmm. that's mostly either threes of a kind or sequences of like one yeah. two three three four five etc um and i got so one time i was playing with three people who had no idea what they were doing and mm-hmm. i was doing my best to explain how to play the game but i got the hardest hand to get in the whole game yep it With called, a bunch of people who didn't care. <laughs> yeah. It is called Nine Gates. And it nine is... Nine Gates. Uh, 
111-2345678999, all in the same suit. All in the same suit. It's, be- it's a beautiful looking hand. Uh-huh. And which which suit was it? I don't remember. Oh, I don't remember, you remember? either, actually. Oh, right. You don't remember. I'd have to dig up the picture. Oh, you took but, a picture? Uh, good. Yeah. <laughs> well, that's good. Because I always picture it as crack. Because I just feel like yeah. it should be. I don't know. Crack, short for character. Kid the character <laughs> suit. Yeah. Great game. It's a fun game. Yeah, I love playing it. It's if it's kind of a nightmare to teach people, people yeah, but if you once got four they know, people how, to know how to play, yeah, it's great. Because it's, it's so it's kind of really complicated, but eventually you just learn it, and then you just kind of. And then it's not. It doesn't really yeah. phase you. They're like, oh those, right, we yeah. got to do the thing, and then the thing, yeah. and then people who are new are like, what are you talking about? It's one like, of those. Don't worry about it. <laughs> once you know it, it's not actually confusing. Yeah. Yeah. It's, there's a lot of games like that where it's yeah. like there's actually there's a lot of rules, but once you know all the rules, it's yeah. not a big deal. I it's not like it's hard to remember. Them I think all. root is a is a good example of that actually. Yeah, I feel like there's a lot to teach at first. Uh huh. But I think even with that, it's like once you know how you how a single character is played and everything about that character, it's yeah. Really then you can that. get it. Yeah. yeah, it's true. I feel if feel like it's a little better organized. Yeah. It's not so much, yeah. Well, it's not ancient. Yeah. <laughs> ancient games are That's weird. That's true, yeah. It's like uh it's like how the on passant rule in chess was, yeah. like, was not original to right. chess. It was added like, centuries later. Like we got to but... add something to this. This yeah. is just <laughs> on passant. Oh. Ha, ha. <laughs> it's one of those rules I didn't understand how it worked as a kid and then I uh, Googled it a few, uh, just a few years ago. I was like, oh, like, that's oh. not that difficult to understand. But the way people tried to teach me, if he was goes, really pa- weird. if he walks past me, I get to kill him. Got yes. it. That makes sense. Murder. No, it's just like, um, it means that just because a pawn moved two spaces instead of one space, they don't get to get out of being attacked. Yeah. Yeah. That yeah. makes sense. That works. Yes, ancient games. Supposedly, backgammon is one of the oldest games. Yeah, John Locke told me so. Mm-hmm. So, in one episode, do you want to just have a Lost episode at <laughs> some point where we just go through Lost? Because we did re- it, so. Me and my man, mom recently rewatched it, and yeah, it's a very good. And show my wife and I are almost done with it. Mm-hmm. Also rewatching it, her first time watching it. Uh, what a fantastic show! Mm-hmm. Still holds up. Still intriguing to this day. Yeah. One of one of the one of the best like what the heck is going on TV shows. Yeah, it's one of those ones where so like there were some shows that tried to do what Lost did but did it poorly. There's a lot of them. Yeah, yeah. in in that they're like trying to be mysterious yeah. and uh, keep you wondering the whole time, and then just throw surprises at you all the time mm-hmm. but they're but that can be done very badly and very I, bad. I think it was done quite well in this show like the event yeah <laughs> the event. and other shows like it yeah yeah a lot of that crap and it's sad because some of those shows showed some promise they were okay but uh then yeah. they just jumped the shark like, and just what? like what, what's yeah, going what? on what? why are they in space now yeah, what happened what happened <laughs> That's crazy. I can count on at least like two or three <laughs> occasions. Now, this this isn't actually any of it those. It always gets good shows, when it goes to space. But there were a couple of cartoons that I watched, and like yeah. I missed at least a whole season. And then I came back to the show, and they were in space for some reason. I had no idea what was going yeah. on. That was me in Sonic X. Sonic X. Yeah. So <laughs> I'm in particular. I'm thinking of the. And now these are two shows like, that like happened? it's not. It's not. It's not that weird for them be, to be in space. Sure. I just didn't know why. And it was Sonic X and Transformers Armada. <laughs> yeah, nice. Uh, that's awesome. Uh, I had a moment like that with uh, X-Men Evolution also. Yeah. Uh, I don't know what it was, but uh, there was a period of time where like a bunch of shows I had been watching consistently, I stopped for a yeah. good few months. And I don't remember what was going on in our lives that caused Same. that. Same. I think maybe I started watching a different channel altogether. Yeah, or something. I don't know. Yeah, interesting. Space is crazy. That's Space. where and that's where they got to go 
with the Zelda after Tears of the Kingdom. That's right. There's only there's only one place to go more up. I see that red flashing. <laughs> I know. I'm really scared. This might be my last one because I don't want it to die like while I'm doing one. Yeah. Yeah. I'm just going <laughs> to. You, you see the screen go dark as the shiny as appears. The, <laughs> exactly. Yeah. I refuse to let that happen. Yeah. So I am ending today's hunt at 23,608. Hmm. <sighs> So once I'll another, continue later. Another episode Probably. where he did not catch it. Yeah. I said Sad. this was the one at the beginning. I lied. <laughs> I wasn't being exactly truthful, John. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> well. That's all I got. Thank you all for listening. Please download the podcast whenever you can, wherever please, you go. Please download. <laughs> Downloads help us out. <laughs> Because then we know how many people are listening to the show. It's true. There's no other way to know. So yeah. Unless you watch on YouTube. In which Whoa. case, we can hey, see Hey, if you're watching views. on YouTube, thanks for watching on YouTube. Our last episode got way more views than any of it our other really videos. Well. I don't really know why, I think but it's because awesome. we mentioned the what's the dude. The Glorbo. Glorbo. <laughs> like, we Pe- mentioned people Glorbo. People are all about that People Glorbo. are like, whoa, Glorbo. So, so all you Glorbo heads out there, go ahead and subscribe. Hit that like. Slap that bell. Mm-hmm. All those things. Thanks to DoorDash for spot. Just kidding. <laughs> um, yeah. Go follow our Twitter or X account. X. At the Brothers G Pod. You can see our my hot takes. <laughs> my hot take is don't cheat. Weird. Okay. Yeah, wow. Crazy. Pretty hot. All right. <laughs> Good night, everybody. Good night. <laughs>